Hey, what's going on, everybody? Paul Lasky here, Ableton Certified Trainer and Sonic Academy Instructor. And today we are going to be doing something very special. We're going to be looking at some of the physical modeling instruments and effects that come with Ableton Live. Now, physical modeling is a topic that's a little, I don't want to say taboo, but it's something that not a lot of people online are very comfortable with. I don't see a lot of coverage of this on YouTube or various places on the internet. And I thought it would be great to um, give some information about these instruments and these effects because they're very powerful, but I feel like they're very underutilized. So the first thing we're gonna be looking at is Collision, which is a physical modeling instrument that comes with Live. And we'll also be looking at the audio effect version of Collision, which is called Corpus. So what is physical modeling synthesis? Well. If you're familiar with synthesis, if you've ever used a subtractive synthesizer before, maybe something like the analog synth in Ableton or Lennar Digital Silent, you're probably familiar with a structure that looks something like this, where we see an oscillator where the tone is generated, we see a filter where that tone can be shaped, and then we also have an amplifier, which allows us to change the volume or adjust the volume over time using a standard ADSR, attack decay, sustain, release envelope. Collision, however, and most physical modeling instruments are quite a bit different from this. The reason for that is because many different physical modeling instruments are kind of designed to do many different types of things. So physical modeling is going to use mathematical models to mimic real world acoustics in some way. In the case of collision, what we're given is a mallet object, also called the excitator, and we can use this to strike a resonator, which is an object that's going to start vibrating and generate the tone. So a good example of this could be if you've ever been at a wedding and maybe you've taken a fork and you've struck your wine glass with it. In that situation, the fork would be the excitator and the wine glass would be the resonator. It starts vibrating and generates a tone. Now on top of that though, we do have an additional tone that comes from the impact of the fork hitting the wine glass. So collision, as the name implies, is going to take an object, the mallet, strike another object with it and cause that object to start vibrating. If you look through other physical modeling instruments, Ableton Live actually does have a few other ones. We have electric, which is gonna physically model electric pianos, the inner workings of electric pianos. We have tension, which is designed to um, mimic what would happen if we struck a string in different ways. But collision, I feel, is the most versatile of the bunch because we can choose several different resonator objects and therefore get several different types of sounds. Anything from uh, a nylon string sound to a plastic tube sound. So it's a very interesting, very versatile instrument. We'll take a look at this in depth, and we'll also take a look at the corpus audio effect, which is sort of the resonator half of the collision instrument turned into an audio effect that we can apply to any audio that we want to. So stay tuned. In the next video, we'll go deep into an overview of the collision instrument. I'll see you there. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.